Hello guys, it is me, Jerry Berry, and today, <clears throat> hoo, hoo, hoo. I don't know what my voice is doing. So if you are familiar with me, you may be familiar with the fact that I can never, ever, ever open a package on time. Normal people get a package and they open it, you know, that day, maybe the next day. I, however, get a package. Three weeks later, many months later, two thousand years later. It truly is unlawful. I actually have every single Webkinz Next Gen plush that Webkinz has released. I've ordered them every single time a new one comes out. I just never open them, I guess. <laughs> I was thinking of doing one big shebang where I open every single one, but then I thought, no, I will open one every single week for the next few weeks. This is the first Webkinz that was released for 2021. Ooh, it's got that fresh Webkin smell. I love that. All the Webkins come in the first edition Webkins Next Generation box. So cute. I literally can't bring myself to get rid of any of them. They're actually really good quality and super durable. Adoption code inside, that is awesome. I don't wanna rip the paper, not again, not again. Oh my God, every single time. Oh my God. It's the cow. This is the Holstein cow. I love its soft fabric. I love this fabric. I actually just talked about this not super long ago, about the Sparkles Penguin. It had this same like glittery fabric and you think, oh, it's not gonna be soft, but it's extremely soft. You don't even feel the glitters. I don't even understand the science of it, but it's, it's perfect. It is extremely high quality and I love it and it's perfectly floppy. It passes the neck bobble test for me, which is very important. It has the most beautiful or mu mu moodiful. What? I need to be stopped. Beautiful green eyes ever and its little feet match the inside of its ear. It's really simplistic design. I love it. I love how the black looks like a starry night and of course, we got the milk jug. Here's the tag. There is this tag, which you scratch this off to get the code. We got the cute little tail and the actual fluff of fake fur, which is an awesome touch. And the little horns, boop, boop. Honestly, I really like this one a lot. I feel kind of bad reviewing it now because this one is actually entirely sold out and they have absolutely no plans to restock this one. So, um, yeah, I don't even know what to say. If you can find one, I recommend it. So cute. I already got dirt all over its nose. Let's ignore that. This is so like random, but I really like this color. Instead of like a bright pink or something, this is like very skin toned and nice. I really like that. Move over ladies and gentlemen. Is this my new favorite Webkinz next? Mm. The debate is still it, but this one is so cute. I think I'm gonna name him Butch. I don't even know what I'm doing. I've been rambling for seven minutes. I hope I cut this video down to like three because this is sick. Where am I at? Here I am. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in to this Webkins Wednesday. I hope you did enjoy. If you have this Webkins, let me know what you think of it down below. And if you don't have this Webkins and you're just going off my little strange review, let me know what you think of this guy down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions when I have comments. YouTube, are you listening? Please, God, let me have comments. Thank you. I will see you when I see you, which might be next Wednesday. I have a way with words, don't I? <laughs> Goodbye, guys.